Hey warriors, your ninja ma'am and captain is here. Yes. For a very important announcement, for a very important uh, question which many students uh, had, and that's regarding out of syllabus. Yes. And uh, guess where the out of syllabus questions have come from? It's not physics, it's not chemistry. That's why we have our amazing ninja ma'am who is going to tell you whether those questions are really out of syllabus yes. or is it just. Chumma fake news. <laughs> or uh, rumor. <laughs> yeah, rumor. Yes. And let me tell you, there is a surprise that if it is out of syllabus, which I feel some might be, we are going to stand for all of you yes. and we are going to appeal to NTA and we are going to make sure your voice is heard and we have a dedicated team who is going to work with, with the, you know, the sources, with the NTA who is going to push your demands. Don't worry about it. Vedantu will help you. All right. So my dear students, there is a link in the description box to appeal to NTA for those bonus questions. But what those questions are, we'll get to know. What about having those questions, ma'am? Over to you. Yes, definitely. So here are the four questions which are doubtful questions, but we will discuss one by one whether these questions are uh, potential candidates for bonus question or not. Okay. How many ma'am questions are uh, questionable? Four, four questions are four questionable, questions. Okay. but reality I'll be getting, uh, I'll be letting you know gradually. Okay. Four questions. So guys, four questions. I think this is the first time on YouTube we are. Uh, uh, achha, you want that? Okay. You can just press here. Okay, so first time on YouTube, my dear students, this is coming uh, and Vedantu J English channel is the first one to go live and to talk about it. So make sure you are subscribed on the channel and also smash the like button for your ninja ma'am and for your amazing Vedantu J English team. Okay, go ahead, smash the subscribe button right now or else you will miss such critical pieces of information which we give you first hand. Yes. All right? Yeah. So the very first thing, uh, so in the syllabus, in the reduced syllabus, what they have said that properties of binomial coefficient are, is not in the syllabus. So this was the question and uh, we have solved it right away, right? So I have used one property related to this question, which was, so basically NCR can be written down as N by R, N minus 1, CR minus 1. We can use this property and we can solve this question, right? But you know what, without using this property also, we can solve this question. We just need to expand n minus 1 CR and we just need to expand n CR plus 1. So if you just simply expand without using this property, then only, then also you can get 1 upon k square minus 8 uh, is equal to uh, basically n upon r plus 1. Yes, this expression you can get by using this property as well and without using this property as well. So basically, we the, it's a bad news for us that we cannot we cannot claim this question. We cannot say that this the, that give us this as a bonus question, right? And the second question is from the so first question is gone. We can we are not claiming this. But what oh, about the second? So question? basically, there were many people who were claiming that this question might yes. be bonus. So guys, this is a fact check, this yes. is a reality check for you that this will not be a bonus. So this was just controversial. Yes, yes, it can be controversial. And also if you know the property well and good, it might uh, help you in solving the question in lesser time. But again, this uh, this also can be solved by basic things also. First question rejected, rejected. And second question is from vector wherein a dot c was given uh, 3. A and B both vectors are given to us and A cross C is given as B. We are here to calculate this value. Now A dot B, you can see A and B vector are given, we can calculate this. A dot C is already given to you, we can calculate this. So the whole controversy is related to A dot B cross C and this year students should know that this is scalar triple product. Although it is not written, it is simple A dot B cross C but this is scalar triple product which can be written as box ABC and in the syllabus, in the reduced syllabus, they have not mentioned scalar triple product, right? It is uh, out of the syllabus and you know what? A property related to scalar triple product is used and that property is cyclic property. So basically when A, B, C, A dot B cross C can be written down as B dot C cross A 
can be written down as c dot a cross b so basically these three are equal values and these are the properties of stp so not only stp but they have gone down to properties of stp so this question we definitely can claim as bonus question this is the first question out of four which i'm telling that this could be a bonus question so you just have to fill this in the description uh, link given in the description box and about this question yes i can see in the chat box many students are claiming that a uh, question from agp has come question from agp has come so you know what this question is definitely from agp but what nta can counter is what you can do is you can just simply uh, multiply with the common ratio of this geometric progression and write down the value so this is 3 by 4 this is 3 plus so this is 2p this is 3p okay so 3 3 plus p by 4 square and so on you can subtract it you can get the answer so basically the procedure is same as agp but we won't use the term agp we just do simple equation solving and we can do that so basically 50 50 are the chances that this claim can be actually uh, uh they they can actually okay. agree to this claim ma'am i also heard that this can be also like thought of as ap plus gp and students yeah. can claim that what if you know the theory of ap and gp separately then you can solve this question is that also true so so basically arithmetic progression you know geometric progression you know and it's a combination of a gp that is a again different topic so we don't use this term okay. that's why i'm saying 50 50 okay. because this is a new concept if agp is not known to you definitely this this variety is extremely new for you but if you knew agp then it's fine but you know what sir a basically again you can go from the basics and yes, you can do but it. you know what sir huh. because nta has given this syllabus a little later now uh -huh. so there are many students who are very uh, versed with with agp, AGP. so, so many students yeah 50 50 and this is again a controversial question because i have solved this question in the video the solution video with the help of normal equation of normal so basically shortest distance between two curves has been asked this is a parabola this is a circle and we are looking for shortest distance between two curve and the concept says shortest distance lie along the common normal of the curve so you have to write the equation of normal and then solve it but you know what tangent and normal is not in the syllabus so what you can do is there is another method to solve it so if you claim this question that okay give me this as a bonus question nta is going to reject because what you can do is you can just take a point 80 square comma 280 right and distance between the circle circle is 2 comma 8 distance between a point and c point you can calculate using distance formula and sir physics mein when you have to make anything shortest what you can do is differentiate it equate it to zero correct. and uh, get the value of t put the value of t calculate the distance so very lengthy method if you go by derivatives but yes. if you go by the equation of normals and tangents it yes. would have been much easier yes so bonus claim will be rejected but yes of course uh, basically equation of normal will be will simplify this question will save your time so ma'am finally the conclusion out is out of four this is 50 50 this is gone and uh, from the previous one this is uh, out of syllabus gone uh, gone, gone. Sir. this okay. is like uh, uh, this can be done with another method another only method? this is short only short only this is like short short, short. short. so basically one bonus that you can claim but other and that too only for the scalar triple product other things the you know the claim cannot be made or you can say for one question there is a 50 50 chance when there is a 50 50 chance ma'am that's what i have seen that it usually doesn't happen now many students have this doubt ma'am that you know uh, yeah one second yes yeah what happens when there is a bonus yes they are asking ma'am that yeah. add marks if given yeah. of syllabus yeah so we <laughs> think about you yeah we know already what you going to ask so we made this slide looking at the nta website the j mains website so you know there is one very interesting thing ma'am and the way bonuses are awarded in multiple choice and in numerical value are completely different i didn't know this this is crazy <laughs> and this blew my mind literally if none of the options is found to be wrong or a question is dropped then the full marks will be awarded to all the candidates irrespective of the fact whether the question has been attempted or not so if that question came in objective multiple type 
we because also it depends ma'am because these are all memory based so we made all options we never considered whether it is numerical and all if it was in multiple choice whether you attempted whether you not attempted you will get bonus marks that's how it works but when it is in numerical type when it is in numerical type then it is found to be incorrect or the question is dropped four marks will be awarded to only those people who have attempted the question this is crazy so it I depends i believe uh, our category of that one question falls in multiple choice question oh that means so, everybody might yes, claim might. now how do we claim this bonus how do we claim this bonus okay so let me show that to you as well as we are watching this video as we are watching this particular uh, okay oops no no this one this one this one yeah as you are watching this particular video what you should do is go in the description box fill a form to appeal to nta because we are going to ask this on your behalf as well because we have lot of teachers we have lot of students and we have the strength we have the capabilities to demand this to nta go click this and enter your details and do you want to appeal to nta to drop that out of syllabus questions or not yes no maybe whatever and which city do you live in just in case we want those details and which grade you are in now either 12th or dropper just uh, fill those details and we will appeal to nta on your behalf okay so let's all appeal to nta my dear students for that one question i feel other than that you don't need it okay it's not right also so that is the reason why we give you the correct information the true information after checking the facts and that's why i uh, i'm so happy about our team that we give you the right information and not unnecessary create controversies three questions were controversial that's yes, all yes. okay and apart from that let me tell you that the entire j mains first shift 27 jan answer key pdf has been created already and just enter your login details if you have not created your account create your free account right now enter your details you will get the entire pdf of the first shift and this has been corrected there are some new questions also which were added which we did not discuss because those questions came in towards the end the entire questions with answer key is there in this particular pdf so fill that and if you want to predict your rank and college there is a link below all those specially first shift and maybe now uh, the second shift people will also see this yes predict your rank predict your college by entering the score out of 300 and you will see you will not just get the rank because many institutes will just give you the rank ma'am but our vedantu website is so yes. cool it gives you the college, college and branch well. yes also. yes yes that's a new thing i also saw this okay a few days back it was back. amazing it's yes, amazing 100%. the way the tool works so do fill it right away right away okay yes correct yes. correct so these were the critical pieces Sir, of they are asking if physics was easy or moderate for how do you physics think? was very easy i uh, i ended up solving 24 to 25 yes, sir, questions yes i also saw <laughs> yeah so all the questions were direct straight forward i mean if you have attempted uh, the questions based out of my sessions just in the last 30 days you would have still got easily 60 to 80 marks easily i am saying okay and chemistry also was easy so basically the paper physics and chemistry was easy maths was moderate i would say that was not too lengthy because in 2022 i saw some papers some shifts which are extremely lengthy so basically mathematics also if i compare with the previous versions so it is also moderate so basically easy to moderate level we will rate okay, okay. but then we will get complete paper and we will do the proper, proper. analysis also for you guys yes, yes very soon so we'll meet you in the second shift uh, it will start very soon so let's we we have to have lunch we didn't have our lunch <laughs> thanks to the paper discussion so one thing you can do uh, support us for having lunch by smashing the like button and share this video across all the friends so that you all can claim for the bonus okay thank you very much captain shreyas and ninja ma'am saying bye bye assalamu alaikum